As gasoline and other prices spike, the squeeze on consumers uh, may next affect tech companies like Apple. ABC 7 News reporter David Louie looks at concerns that discretionary spending could actually dry up. Apple put on a slick and upbeat show to promote its latest upgrades and new devices, really pushing faster and chips that speed up performance. However, the tech giant, along with many other companies, may be facing real headwinds. Rising gas prices are going to are going to be the toughest test that Apple has ever uh, confronted from a brand premium standpoint. Discretionary spending could be wiped out as families confront not only alarming prices at the pump, but also for food. Necessities take priority. It's not that Apple is out of touch with reality. It announced an enhanced 5G iPhone SE starting at $429 aimed at price sensitive new users. It added two new shades of green to its color choices. This past fall, we've added more new users to the iPhone 13 lineup than in each of the previous five launches. It also added a new high-performance desktop computer, the Mac Studio, with $2,000 and $4,000 starting prices. While all of that is good for fans of Apple inclined to buy now, the real test will come in the fall, when Apple traditionally launches new devices for the important holiday shopping season. People's confidence about where the world may go and where their jobs may go, where their discretionary income may go is very much in question right now and I don't believe Apple is going to be immune to that if we're in that same situation come September, September October. Apple is taking a small hit already by pulling out of Russia in solidarity with Ukraine a daily loss of three million dollars according to analysts. Because of its premium products with prices to match it also has a cushion and that its gross profit margin is around 43 percent. The U.S. market remains important to its success and a looming recession and higher interest rates are factors it cannot control. David Louie, ABC 7 News.